Hey guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm back with Techno Babylon, and I'm gonna pick up where I left off in my last video. Enjoy. The bottle is some kind of thermal container, about half full of thick liquid. The words "drink me" are stenciled on the side. Down the hatch. I wonder what that did. Hear me? Hello? Who's there? Barely, can you hear me? Barely? I can't see you. Where are you? In your head. That bottle I drank, that's what did this? Exactly. You ingested a wetware builder node colony. They were programmed to construct a transceiver in the small bones of your inner ear. You've apparently found me already. Why talk to me this way? Security. There's a pretty big crisis about to land right on top of you. My location's been compromised? I'm afraid so. There's a strike team surrounding the building as we speak. Damn. We need to get you out of there. The sewer access on the factory floor hasn't been secured. It's your best chance for an escape route. If what you're saying is true, I'm about to be outnumbered and outgunned. Don't worry, you're probably one of the few people I know who's smart enough to get out of something like this. Do you know me? You could say that. Come on, get moving. Looks like this guy had a place to keep his vices at work. Must have been a decorator. It's the fire safety system. Probably hasn't been used in years. Huh. It fits. Looks like I can control the factory's power from my traveler now. Remember that the locker is the code is three eight one. Three eight one. What is it? Cobalt Actual, this is Cobalt 3. Dynamic entry complete. Second floor hallway secure. Going dark and starting patrol. Out. Adaptive camouflage? How am I supposed to get past them when I can't even see them? I'll see if I can breach their systems. For now, you're going to have to think your way past. If I wander out there, I'm probably just going to end up full of holes. Ah! 
Cobalt 3, camouflage compromised. He's too far away this second. One down. However many left to go. Don't count on taking them all on, though. Low velocity, jacketed hollow point. They came prepared for a soft target. That's one way of getting it open. It's empty except for all the packing material. Stuff it with packing? Nah. Apparently it's not just cleaning supplies they kept in here. This is some pricey liquor. Ah! Looks like the beginnings of a fine hole in the floor. There's a little light coming through it, and I can hear voices. I haven't got the gear to fix it, or open it up some more. I've stuffed the drain. Huh, this takes me back. What a waste of good whiskey. Still there. I go where you go. Perhaps it was my mistake first for drinking that bottle, but how do I know I can trust you? It's either me or the guys with the kill on sight order. Besides, what sort of person would I be if I didn't help out an old pal? Do I know you? You should. We've spent years working together. Is this Lau? Come on, you've got to get moving. How did they manage to find me? Sorry, I can't help you with that. All I know is, they're after you. Did you get my message? Message? Nah. I just know the kind of places you like to hide in. If your 
garden wouldn't do for this one, would it? Hey. Match that against which of your favorite spots are being raided by crisis teams, and boom, instant rages. So, you haven't heard my side of the Baxter story. Save it for later. First, we've got to get you out of there. What do you know about this facility? Hmm. Old TVNA factory. Used to make synths there. Cleared out when the Aurora hit. Most of that part of town stayed abandoned even to this day. It's the kind of place lowlifes and thralls hide in. Anything useful? A lot of the stuff in it's probably been scavenged already, but you might find something useful. Plus, it's an old building. Be careful, a lot of it is unstable. Maybe I can use that to my advantage. How exactly am I supposed to get out of here? There's an exit to the sewers on the factory floor level. What makes you think they haven't blocked that off too? This raid was a rush job. I don't think they've known where you are for very long. They're gambling that they can eliminate you before you have time to think. I hate to disappoint you, but I'm not exactly prepared either. Yeah, but you've got my help. That puts you kilometers ahead. That's one big laser they've got. If it's not on the production line, it was probably just used for prototyping. Looks like someone made a real mess with it. Probably didn't have time to fix it before the Aurora hit. Maybe it'd be useful if you could power it up again. Why are the power systems in this place still online? It's only been 11 years since the Aurora. If nobody switched it on since then, the city's probably just never noticed they were still connected. I guess the factory's standby would be a drop in the ocean in terms of the city's power. It's not like they're short on it. Newton's a net exporter in the region. I guess you can do that when you're the only one in the neighborhood with orbiting solar arrays. If the factory's still working, you might be able to use that strategically. I'm still a little worried about what I drank. It won't do you any harm. It's just a constructor node. Yeah, but thousands of molecule-sized machines building a radio in my head. That'd bother any sane man. If you'd gone and gotten yourself wired years ago, we wouldn't have to do this. Plus, this is more secure. We're operating on a bespoke fractal encoding. These armed men. It must be difficult having to escape your own colleagues from cell. That's the thing. They're not cell crisis team agents. They're equipped and armed like them. But they're not the real deal. How can you be sure? Central has other means of handling the possibility of rogue agents. Its actions are precise, surgical, even if not what we'd normally think of as moral. This whole thing is like a blunt instrument, a sledgehammer for a wasp. Okay, so you don't think it's central, but why aren't these men sell? If they were, this operation would have been a whole lot better plan. There'd be an isoman of the building. They'd know exactly where I was to begin with. These guys can handle a weapon, but they're just geared up like a crisis team. That's an interesting theory. I'll check some leads on that. Plus, if they were sent, I'd have a much harder time doing what I need to escape. Jesus, there's so much graffiti in here. A decade of kids breaking in or just hacking maintenance drones to make their art for them. Even so, you have more important things to worry about, like not being killed. I know, but still. It's a real insight into how your mind works, Reed. Kind of gives you an appreciation of the clean bits. Sure, sometimes they feel sterile, but this... Some people would say it's more free. I just think it's a mess. It was like this last time I was here, too. We caught a hacker who kept rewriting adverts around the city. You'd better get moving or a patrol might catch you. Right, right. A 10 millimeter submachine gun, part of the strike team's gear. As a signature weapon, it's encoded to only operate for its assigned user.
Okay, you're on the factory floor. There's an emergency access route to the sewers in the corner of the north wall. Sure, except it's locked. What? This can't be right. Yep, big padlock and everything. Any other ideas? I'm afraid not. The crisis team's got the factory surrounded. That's your only route out. I guess I need to find a way to get the lock off. Whatever this is, building a synth apparently takes a lot of them. That's brightened it up. You still there? I go where you go. You didn't know about the lock on the sewer exit? They must have put it in place when they launched the raid. No wonder they've got no patrols in the sewers. Any ideas on getting it open? For a lock that big, you're going to need something industrial scale. You'd better get moving or a patrol might catch you. Right, right. I'd better not be walking into an ambush. I haven't let you down yet, have I? Regis! It's good to see you in the flesh as well, Lau. What do you mean, in the flesh? You weren't the one sending messages through a transceiver in my head? No, she wasn't. No, I wasn't. You thought I was her? Well, it seemed like that. Seemed like what? Who are you talking to? I... never mind. You found my message in the DNA. Eventually. You could have been a little less abstruse. I had to make sure you'd be the one to find it. Plus, if someone else did manage to get into it... They'd probably think you meant to meet up where our first case was, rather than where you caught me the first time. Looks like they found me anyway. There's why. Looks like she downloaded an interceptor. Even I can see the signal coming off it. Uh... Max, the voices say you've been bugged. What? Wait a second. Ah, nuke an interceptor. Can you disable it? Easily, now that I know it's there. Okay, it's isolated. I can confirm that. They won't be tracking her any further. I have no idea when it started writing me. Must have been while I was investigating the, uh, the murder at the plant lab. It wasn't me, Max. I know, Regis. I didn't think it was, but... But? You're the only person I can think of who would have wanted him dead. And frankly, I don't think anyone would have blamed you after what he did. But after what you tried to do with the bomber last night... What about it? You tried to save his life. Even though he'd come here intending to murder as many as he could. It was the right thing to do. I've worked with you long enough to know how you work, Regis. What Baxter did didn't drive you to revenge. It's motivated you to try and make the world a better place. Thank you for your opinion, Max. You're probably thinking more clearly than I am right now. What do you think we ought to do next? I guess turn yourself in isn't an option. No. Well, we need to see if we can find out who really did kill Baxter. And why they've sent a strike team to hunt me down. If I might interrupt your happy reunion, I believe I may be able to help. You can? How? The voices again? My organization is aware of links between this attack and Dr. Baxter's murder. What? How? I believe we must discuss this somewhere more secure. 1181 Shenley Boulevard, Southeast Network, 16th floor. Come around the back. Wait, how do we know we aren't just walking into an ambush? Can we trust you? Well, Charlie, I have just saved your life. Plus, we have information to put you on the right track. All right, we'll come. Leave Dr. Lau, come alone. No. Pardon? Lau comes too. She's the only one I know I can trust right now. Aww. Mm, very well. See you soon, Charlie. Well, looks like Vargas pulled together quite a team. Mm. 
Hello, Charlie. What was that for? I'm not sure. I was just worried you weren't going to come. Don't be silly. Of course I was going to be here. I know. I was just afraid. Hey, there's no need to be afraid of anything here. Unlike your last job, there's no firing squad for motivation. I'm sorry, I didn't mean... It's hard to believe all that's behind me. Not only do I have you to thank for getting me out of there, but getting me into this role as well. All I did was mention you to Dr. Vargas. He knew what he needed and you fit the bill. Obviously, he knows talent when he sees it. Hopefully he likes my work. He can't exactly go to the Texan warlords for a reference. Oh, that's a good sign. Now you're the one making jokes about him. Hi there. I'm Dr. Pereira. Yes. I, uh, thought I might get to know who I'm going to be working with? Oh, right. Certainly. Adam Baxter. You enjoying the, uh, MRI scanner? Ah, yes. Forgive me. It's just been some time since my last lab work. After the accident, no institution would take me. I feel as though I may wake up and have this dream of an assignment taken from me. Don't worry. Dr. Vargas is an excellent judge of talent. I can guarantee that this isn't merely out of pity. This is something of a last chance for me. We must succeed. You must be the famous Dr. Pereira I've been hearing so much about. Famous? The way Dr. Vargas has been going on, you must have been his star pupil. You're right. I'm Victor Pereira. Vicky. Dr. Vargas mentioned me? Wouldn't shut up about you. Like you were Watson, Crick, and Einstein rolled into one. Or more like Oppenheimer, perhaps. Hey, what we did before isn't the key point. It's what we can do with the skills we've brought with us. All right, then. What's your field? Organic computing, mostly. I studied under Dr. Vargas. Ah, we've probably got some overlap, then. You look familiar, Dr. Nina Jong. Pleased to meet you. AI and synthetic awareness studies. I remember. Dr. Vargas was a big fan of your work. He's assembling his dream team. That's what you get with an absurdly huge grant. Not that I'm complaining. And you are? Dr. Zvidzai Chigwa. My friends call me Gwen. I was brought in from Bulawayo. What was your field? Embryonic baseline engineering. She's a real artist, building new animals from scratch. Angiosperms, mostly. Still not sure why I'm here. You got any idea what's going on? Come on, you're the only one of us who's met Vargas in person. Do you have any idea what's going on? I couldn't help you, I'm afraid. Aw, oh, you're killing us. You expect us to believe he didn't tell his star pupil. Well, I might know, but I know how theatrical he can be. It'd mean a lot to him to be the one to reveal it. Whatever it is, this is some impressive hardware they've got. That and the secrecy says government work to me. I'll leave you to it. <clears throat> Your attention, please, ladies and gentlemen. As you look around, you will see some of the finest scientific minds of this generation. These minds have at their disposal the most cutting-edge tools available to humankind. Newton has decided, like an increasing number of cities, to invest in AI management. But they want no mere computer to run traffic patterns and coordinate electricity grids. They have asked me for something infinitely more advanced. They have asked me for the future. I have selected you for this venture, because I believe that together we can make this future. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Central Project. This is the place Jinsel said to meet up at. Ugh, what a dump. The city just gets worse and worse every time I leave the trance. Too close to the vehicle. Please step away from the vehicle. This message has been a product of Sentinel security systems. Ads for everything from sleazy bars to sex to cosmetics. Nothing I'd want, though. I feel like the whole neighborhood was designed to alienate me. Hey. No entry. Excuse me, I'm trying to get into the trance den. And I'm stopping you. What? Why? 
Maybe I don't like the look of you. Maybe we're full. Either way, shove off. Ugh, come on, there must be something I can do to get in. What do I need to do? Huh, we get that a lot. Some thrall drags themselves up here, says they'll do anything. Shows how desperate you people are. Can I pay to get in? I don't know. Can you pay to get in? Um... Exactly. You wouldn't be dressed up in Skanto blue overalls if you could. You ain't even got shoes. Maybe I could do something for you? <laughs> I like him skinny, but you look like you'd break a bone if someone looked at you too hard. You wouldn't believe how many greasy thralls try to get in that way, though. I... what? No! Ew! No! I meant hacking! Hmm. City Utilities did cut the water again. What happened to the water? Bills weren't being paid. I needed all my quanta to pay off the bookies after Pakistan lost last month's game. Gambling debts? Hey, like you're in a position to judge anyone. Thrall. Anyway, Central Utilities shut down the water. Now we can't grow any more wetware. What do you want me to do about the water supply? I'm a hacker, not a plumber. The flow's controlled by a terminal in the sewer. I want you to breach it and get my water back. This place looks like a dump. You're one to talk, girl. Bet yours is worse. Uh, so what happens here? It's a trance den. People come here to hook up. I always do it at home. Did do it at home. People can't always do it there, though. Maybe their partner don't want them doing it no more. Maybe there's some thrall who promised their probation officer they'd stay clean. So you're selling privacy? Bingo. It don't need to be pretty. Once you're in the machine, you don't care about how it looks. What's with your arm? It's all metal. Lost it in the war. One of the wars. On biochem duty. Turned out that because of the shots they gave me, they couldn't just grow me a new one. Same reason I can't get wired either. Allergic to the stuff. But you run a trance den. Ain't that just the definition of irony? The arm's great, but the eyes they gave me ain't worth shit. Come on, man. I need to get back in the trance. It's important. That didn't work for the half dozen other thralls who tried it today. It sure ain't gonna work for you. There's supposed to be a public terminal on the corner over there. I guess because of all the wires running from where it used to be into the cellar... You reckon I know something about it? You think maybe I stole the terminal, and I'm now using it to run a pirated trance environment for profit? Uh, maybe? Huh, you're pretty sharp. So, you're not wired? You can't connect? Nope. Been allergic to neural wiring since the war. This seems like a strange thing to be doing then, running a trance den. You can't even experience the world you've built for these people. Means I can't get addicted to it either. Best kind of insurance. What was it you wanted me to do again? Will that trancing fry your memory? Find the city utilities terminal in the sewer and get my water running again. Oh yeah, I remember. Go on, get moving. What's with the antenna? The one under the neon lights? Not everyone here is a local. Some people ain't lucky enough to live in a city like Newton. International connections? Exactly. People in Newton can join this hub through the net. Some states, they monitor the usual net connections, so they bounce the connection in via satellite. What are other countries monitoring for? Greater Hand likes to control the news and history. Concord is looking for anti-corporate opinion. Eurofed has strict definitions about what counts as acceptable entertainment. That's barbaric. Defeats the point of the net, doesn't it? But thanks to Pirate Net, they can never stop the signal. Why don't you hack the water yourself? You haven't got my skills? You think a lot of yourself, don't you? I ain't wired. Can't breach systems like that on the go. Ah, that makes sense. Also means I got deniability if they just catch some thrall messing around with it. No, officer. I didn't have nothing to do with it. <laughs> Quit hanging around. All right, all right, I'm going.
car repair tool. Probably what they claim it's for, at least. It's old and rusty, but still locked. I'm not strong enough to open it with my bare hands. Too easy. Nothing. I can't reach any of its control surfaces. There's a centimeter thick layer of other people's wetware covering its surface. I can't reach any of its con- The wetware won't form it. uncool to steal from someone who's in the trance, but I'm in something serious. Huh. She doesn't even have anything on her. Hey. Nope, he's under. One of the trancers is spread out on the foam mat on the floor, underneath all the rusty water pipes. Just yank it out. I have no idea what that'll do to him. Doesn't work like that. It's for putting stuff in, not sucking it out. I can't just stick him with an empty injector. I might give him an embolism. This is a lot of quanta for someone to lose in the sofa. Getting anywhere near that thing. Hey. Nope, he's under. Money doesn't solve everything. It's a homegrown lump of techno organic wetware gel. It's for connecting my brain's wetware to the external systems. taking in the digital experience. Apparently, more vivaciously than you. How do you figure? You're just standing, floating there. I... It, hey, shut up! You're ahead. Very astute. And you're behind. No, I mean, you're just a floating head. Why are you just a floating head? Because, unlike some people, I'm choosing to take the trance to its full potential. We can look like whatever we want. But some people just look like... People. 
Ooh, human body, two legs, two arms. How original. I like having legs. Yeah, it's so limited, though. Realists like you have no imagination. Hey, who are you calling a realist? What's the line for? If you must know, I'm waiting for a slot to open up in the games. I'm first, though. You hear me? Uh, sure. There are social conventions that must be followed. Are the games any good? Would I be waiting here if they weren't? Is this one of your usual trans spots? Yeah, it's acceptable most of the time. Mostly because I'm not being bothered by inane questions from plebes. It looked a little dirty outside to me. Yeah, I know, it's disgusting. Is that a problem? No, I got my usual spot to crash under the pipes. It's the cleanest place in the den. Lousy. Can I get cuts? What? Are you crazy? Uh... No, you cannot go ahead of me. I was here first. That is not how lines work. What's with the dancers? I know. They're awful people. They come up here from the bar spilling fuck all over the same dirty, dirty people. Hey. What do you want? Much as I hate to bring up meat space stuff. Spit it out. Actually, that's what you might need to do. The sewage pipe over your head's burst. What? How'd something like that happen? I've uh, no idea. Nuke it. You nuke, nuke, nuke it. I will not be giving the server any positive feedback on my blog. Mandela. I trust you made it here without too much difficulty. Nothing I couldn't handle. I'm not used to all this meat space stuff, though. Nonetheless, you've proven yourself resourceful. You said you knew more about the guy who tried to kill me. You and your Jilly... Holly... Jahilia. In fact, there's been a breakthrough since we last spoke. Unfortunately, security is still an issue. It's a public server in a den. I guess anyone could be in here, even other cell agents. It is good to see you understand the value of privacy. I don't need anyone else finding out where I am. What do you need? Jehoiah's hackers have managed to block any further connections to this server. You must now help us in clearing out any remaining users. I'll do what I can. Issa, we must have privacy before we can reveal what we found. Those remaining in the server must be... persuaded to leave. This might take some work in meat space again. It is a testament to your strength that you work so well outside your comfort zone. Don't get used to it. Once this whole nuked up mess is sorted out, I am never leaving the trance again. If you want everyone gone, why don't you just crash the server remotely? I could have done that if you wanted. It would get rid of everyone. It would, but would also call attention to us. Our hackers have blocked incoming connections. Resetting the server would disable this. Oh. Then everyone would just reconnect again. Precisely. We've removed as many as we can over the net. The remainder must physically leave the trance by themselves. With a little incitement from me, you mean? Did you know where this sim was being hosted? It's a stolen street corner terminal in a dingy cellar. A trance den, yes. We often use it as a meeting point. I have not been there personally, but my allies' reports have painted a vivid picture. Yeah, it's a great place. If you're a rat or a giant cockroach. Perhaps you can use this to your advantage? The conditions sound only a little way from intolerable. Those within the den may need only a little push to make it so. You don't know how far thralls will go for a link. If you're not in the den, where are you? Are you even in Newton? My person is in a secure location. As to where that is, well, I'm afraid that's a secret. Not even a clue? All I shall say is that I'm meeting some old friends here for dinner. Talk about multitasking. Exactly. Hopefully you will excuse me if I seem a little distracted. Why this server? It seems like a strange place to meet. Jahilia uses many such venues. Compared to the whole net though? It's so small. Which allows us to more easily determine if we are being monitored. Ah, cloak and dagger. And after we have concluded our discussion, we shall crash the server. There shall be no evidence of us having been connected. Who are these other people in here? Your pals? Bystanders. Members of the public. They come from all walks of life. Unfortunately, they cannot know what we are about to discuss. And that's why you want me to remove them. It's not going to be easy. You're resourceful, Mandela. You will find a way. 
Sims like this are weird. There's a whole net to explore, things to create and learn, but people want to come somewhere that's laid out like a dance club? Not to your taste? It just seems like a waste. Perhaps it lends familiarity to it. Unlike yourself, some may not be ready to lead a wholly intangible existence. They understand the trance and the artifacts of life they know. And for a trance venue, it seems so small. Come on, it's not like anyone would be listening in. I need to know what's going on. I'm sorry, Mandela, I cannot. As long as there's any unsecured connection. You mean all the other users? Precisely. But we cannot guarantee that the others are not being monitored. You are in enough danger as it is, and I cannot risk compromising you. So, I know it's awful medicated in the trance. I'm almost disgusted to hear me say it, but... You want to know more about the real me? Yeah. I mean, you probably can for secrecy and all. You are correct. There's a reason we have our identities in here. Even you, my love. Let's just say that outside, I work to do good for the world. Chihelia's interests match my own in that respect. So, that organization you work for? With. Chihelia's membership is non-hierarchical. Sounds like it'd be hard to get anything agreed on. Sometimes the differing viewpoints of members leads to a standstill. The ethical integrity is a refreshing change from my RL work, though. Wasn't Guy working for you? In a manner of speaking, sometimes we need to subcontract our tasks. For those matters, we'll recruit experts. Guy was such. So, I know it's awful medicated. I you, you are let's chill. Any word from Guy since I left Cell? We were looking for him after his discharge from Cell. It doesn't appear hopeful. He boarded an Aristot for the Han Republic. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'll get back to ruining everyone's evening. Hi there. Good evening. Something bothering you? Not obvious, huh? I can see it right through the trance. What's up? Um... I gotta come out to these dens to trance, right? Except the last couple of times, it's not gone so well. Wiring problems? Worse. Someone keeps going through my pockets while I'm under. I disconnect and find someone's gone with all my quanta. Jeez, sorry to hear. Poverty's my answer to that problem. <laughs> this time, I'm hiding him. They won't find any money on me. What's with those guys hogging the dance floor? From what I can tell, they're celebrating. They got a cycle of drinking down here and partying up there. Any idea what's got them in such a good mood? I don't know. Some sport thing? Big win, apparently. I haven't really paid attention to that stuff since I started trancing. I know the feeling. This your usual haunt? First time here, actually. There's a place on my ass that I used to go to. This is my first time here, too. I stopped going to dens after I matriculated. I can understand. Some people just prefer the freedom of the open web, but you get a different kind of atmosphere in these smaller local servers. You like the server the Sten's got running? It's alright. There's only so much you can do with a repurpose terminal, though. No doubt legitimately acquired. No doubt. Still, they've got a bar, a dance floor, and a bunch of games running. And I love the way you can just stare off the edge into forever. Hey, um... I don't know how to tell you this. What is it? Well, I was just offline a second ago, you know, finding some food. Anyway, I saw this guy going through your stuff on the sofa. Oh, Nuke, you found it? Damn. What do you look like? A big guy, lots of muscle. Wait, did he have an animated snake tattoo on his arm? White hair? He might have. Nuke, I know who it was. I'm gonna kill that asshole when I get home. Max is right. He sounds like a terrible individual. Thanks for your help. I, uh, yeah. Howdy there, miss. What can I get you? I used to have an auto meal kind of like you. She got her recipes off a of memory card. What about you? I got all the usuals built in already, plus a few extras, this being the trance and all. How do you mean? People can be a little more adventurous about what they choose in here. I guess the law, or even physics, doesn't really matter here. As long as I got the formula, I can fix it up for you. Cuba Libre, my man. Here you go. Give me a nuclear winter. On the rocks? Wouldn't be a nuclear winter without ice. Or a radioactive fallout, but that'd be going a bit far to mix in. A 
black iced tea. Do I have to hack it before I can drink it? Lady, with drinks like these, they're the ones hacking you. Don't you charge for drinks? It's ladies night. Come to think of it, I have never been told when it wasn't ladies night. Guess the management really wants more ladies in here. A black iced tea. Do I have to hack it before I can drink it? Lady, with drinks like these, they're the ones hacking you. What are you supposed to be, Victorian? I'm the bartender, Missy. Wouldn't be much of a club without one. Real or? Nah, I'm part of the program. They got me out of a broken down machine in a dive bar in Southeast Newton. Cuba Libre, my man. Here you go. Ciao. Howdy there, miss. What can I get you? You like it here? Better than the last job. There's more space in here, that's for sure. And trans users have more interesting orders than beer, beer, and beer. Before yesterday, I hadn't really spoken much with AIs. Do you ever get the urge to do more? How do y'all mean? Well, I mean you're stuck in here. Or in a drinks machine. Ever wanted to get out, see the rest of the trance? Missy, I sell drinks. Unlike you, I have a defined raison d'etre. If I weren't doing that, well, I just wouldn't feel right. Ciao. I don't think he'd want that. I'll get back to ruining everyone's evening. Pitafik. Looks like they're just for decoration, not download. Cuba Libre I picked up at the bar. Alright, I'm going to take a break here. Um, but again, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.